Now we shall hear Gertrude Darcy. Mrs. Darcy? Here I am, and a better time, too. I was here the old day yesterday and never had to look in. So were a number of other witnesses, madam, and so were the jury and myself. I don't know anything about that. This is your living. Take the oath, madam. I... I swear the evidence I shall now give will be the truth, the old truth, and nothing but the truth, so help me God. Yeah. You don't snatch. Yeah, I'm Silence, what is your name? Gertrude Amelia D'Arcy. Yes, and you let rooms in number 76 Union Street, Bloomsbury. That's right. Among your lodgers... Paying guests. Among your lodgers... Paying guests. Please don't interrupt. Well, I object to being called a lodging housekeeper. Even my mother, who used to take in pros, refused to be called that. Pros? What are they? Professional actors and actresses, Mr. Coroner. Oh, thank you. Yes, that's right. That's how I met my late husband. He was the it in Venus and It. <laughs> I was the Venus. Yes, that's quite enough, Mrs. Darcy. The question I was going to ask you was whether Mr. Anthony Field is one of your lodgers... Uh, uh, paying, paying guests. guests. Yes. He is. But in his case, it's more of the guests than paying. Quite so. And how much was he supposed to pay you? When he pays, 25 bob bed and breakfast, shoes, bath, coal fire and a second egg extra. Yes, now, Mrs. Darcy, I want you to throw your mind back to the night of Friday, September the 12th. What time did Mr. Field come back that night? He never come back that night. What's that? In your statement to the police, you stated definitely that he came back at 12, 4 to the minute. Well, that was the next morning, wasn't it? Uh -huh. That is a distinction without a difference. <laughs> How is it? Well, I'm used to being meticulous. Quite so, quite so. Now, if Mr. Field said he was in Manchester that night, what would you say? I'm Mr. Coroner, my client is not going to deny that he was in London. Oh, thank you. Yes, uh, now that'll do. Have you any questions to put to this witness, Mr. Heron? No. Mrs. Darcy, what time did you say my client returned home on the night of uh, the morning of September the 12th? Twelve four to the minute. To the minute. You've a very good memory, Mrs. Darcy. I'd never have got to the top of the bill on the alls if I hadn't. How so? <laughs> well, of course you can invent your own gags, but it's easier to remember other people's. So. I see. Do you honestly mean to tell the jury that you can remember the exact minute every one of your numerous clients returned home on a particular night more than two weeks ago? But I wasn't asked about the other guests. I was asked about Mr. Mr. Field, and he'd come back at 12.4 exactly. And might it not have been 12.14 or even 11.44? No. Why? Because I locked up myself after him. He kept me waiting after my usual locking up time. And your usual locking up time was? Midnight. Sometimes a bit earlier, eh? What? Shut up at Bloomsbury boarding house before midnight. <laughs> Could there be a riot? <laughs> I have no further questions. Yes, well, well, perhaps we'd better hear what this money lender has to say. Mr. Leary, you can go. Don't I get my expenses? Yes, you can speak to the officer about that. Well, where is the officer? Take this witness away, Mr. Leary. Are you the officer? Take the oath.